What's up everyone? I'm Holly and that's Abby. And before we even begin this video, can we just ask you to please subscribe, subscribe. to our channel. We are so close to 3000 and we are definitely doing a giveaway when yeah. we hit it. So you can all enter that when it comes. And turn on the wee bell so you never miss one of our videos. Yeah. Cause that's really sad. <laughs> so, yeah. so basically today's video is going to be kind of photography, vlogging, Film. equipment. Yes. Because related. I am a fourth year film student at Abbey. I am studying photography. And I've never spoke about this on our channel before, but I have a photography Instagram account, which yeah. I would really appreciate if you could go take a look at, maybe follow. Yeah, it's, it's really cool. Abbey McKee Photography. Yeah. So yeah, if you're interested in that, please go take a look. Um, but yeah, we're just going to show all of our equipment and cameras and lenses. Yeah, and if you are wanting to just see cameras and lenses, because we're going to be showing like accessories and and rigs and stuff. Fun. Just skip to see the cameras at this time on the screen. Literally, throughout vlogging and Holly's films, we have accumulated a lot of random like camera rigs mm -hmm. for like cinematography. Um, Just look at it, I'm like... <laughs> like, some of them we did use. There's one thing we did not use. Do not yeah. know why we bought it, but... Yeah. Let's just get showing you. So the first two things we're gonna show you are like these camera rigs. And this one is quite popular because it's very cheap. Yeah, it's like £9 and, pound on Amazon or something. Yeah, and it's got a hot shoe on the top so you can have your mic on the top and then your camera in here. And it's just really good to like you just get some smooth flowy shots. shots. It is quite funny looking. It is really funny when you're like filming yeah. like that. It's like um, me and Holly are like major fans of the Hollywood show. Yeah. And like their two sisters, filmmakers, their mm. videos are unbelievable. I know. Um, So I saw them using this like... Yeah when I was about 14 and I was like, I want one of them! Yeah. So when Holly started making films, I was like, we're getting... Get one of these. these. <laughs> yeah, and the other one we've got is a bit more complicated, a bit more expensive, mm -hmm. but not as easy to use. Like, yeah. Holly it's did really use difficult. this for... It's supposed to be one of those, like, I don't even know what you call it. Really flowy, like... What's the word? Stabilising. I can't even think of the word. But, like, we ju it just wouldn't do what it was supposed to, so Holly mm -hmm. had to just kind of like tighten it and just have it really stiff to be yeah, like that. Yeah, just like that, yeah. But, um, but this one was for my zombie film, which will be linked here, and this one was for the art school, the Holly's art school mockumentary. So when we're filming our main videos like this, we film yeah. on a tripod that we've had since before we were born, basically. Yeah. Um, our parents got it free with like their first video camera they bought, mm -hmm. and we've been using it. Ever since we started YouTube, and, it, and it's, it genuinely doesn't even look old. Like, I know it looks like really I'll modern. Take, I'll take a quick picture. Um, is it gonna focus? Yeah, you can't really tell, but like, it looks pretty sleek. Yeah, like it's not metal or like heavy or anything. It's just yeah. a lightweight plastic tripod. Mm -hmm. Only problem with that is it's not tall enough. Yeah, and we purchased this one because we thought it was gonna be taller. I I bought it on Amazon, and I thought it's got three clip. This one has two clippy things, but this one has three, and I thought that'll be extra tall. And it's literally it's tiny. <laughs> it's like this height, yeah. genuinely. It's so this like... is just like a backup tripod. And the other kind of tripod type thing we've got is this little, it's like a gorilla pod. Yeah. It's a cheaper it's version. Bendy, yeah. You can bend it, like attach mm -hmm. it to things. It's so good for vlogging. Literally, it's like the perfect, perfect size. Yeah. And we actually like purposely got this over a gorilla pod because mm -hmm. the gorilla pod like legs are too big to hold. Yeah. They we look... actually like tried one out. Yeah. And it's too big and this is much easier so yeah that's i'd recommend this it's about 15 pounds amazon is the place to go for yeah. this sort of stuff okay so for my most recent film which was filmed in a car i had to buy a few different like windscreen attachments so these big ones are for actual dslr cameras so they're yeah, like they're proper big sturdy beast. <laughs> each one of them was like five pounds which is like quite a good deal really good um and this one was for that was for the GoPro, GoPro and then I've got one for my, my oh there phone. it is. <laughs> I was like, where is it? But okay, this is so a, a the most The most hilarious one is good old dolly. <laughs> we bought a dolly for a tripod. We bought a tripod dolly and it is the most hilarious thing because we've never, it arrived too late. I, meant, I was meant to use it for my zombie film, which I've already linked, um, but it didn't arrive, it actually arrived right after we filmed yeah. basically instead of using this i had to just hang out the boot of a car <laughs> um but i don't even know if this would have worked like, i know because we've tried we, like once it arrived we tried it and it literally the wheels are like the wheels all spin. The it's it's bad so but this was about like 
I think it was like fifteen pounds off Amazon. I was going to say fifty. I was like, oh. No, me. it was pretty heavy, and I just never sent it back. Okay, so next we're going to do our sort of lighting category, and we have been filming on the same type of lighting since we since about twenty twelve. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we use umbrella lights, two umbrella lights either side of the camera with white diffusive umbrellas. Mm -hmm. um, these were really cheap from Amazon, so we would recommend them. Yeah. And they, they also, also come with yeah. a different. Um, sorry, I'm actually going to hit you. <laughs> Oh my god. A different umbrella and the other type of lighting that we have and I've only used this for one video and that was like a tester and I kind of wish I didn't use it. Yeah. Um, but it would be good for one person filming. I think we're um, too used to it. I'm too used to having a, a lot of light. Yeah, this is like a ring light and it just attaches to the top of the hot shoe part. You get so many different camera um, like attachments so it can fit mainly all cameras and it comes with comes with these wee things yellow blue clear and the one yeah. that's on it is just white diffusive white. it's enough. probably the best one yeah but like um, when we first tried filming we had that on and it is so blinding. bright like we were like yeah. we cannot use it how much was this about 23.99 on amazon you can still buy yeah. it at that price buy Neewar, in it. Neewar, we love that brand yeah it's just like a Neewar. A cheap photography brand. They even make some lenses. Yeah. Okay, so the next thing is two newer products, and this is a shutter release trigger and remote, which is Bluetooth. So this is good for if you do photography and you want to do long exposures. Yeah. And also you can't you touch, touch the camera because yeah, the camera shake. With shake. That. And you can also take selfies with it if you just like doing it. Yeah. Or you can even just start recording if you don't want to walk over to your camera. You can just go. Here's a wee surprise. <laughs> Whoa, jeez. <laughs> This is a reflector. Reflector for photography and obviously you can use it like, I mean Abby could stand like this if we want to and bring a bit of light from underneath. You see Ooh. the wee glow. But yeah, this was like, you can get these cheap on Amazon, yeah. probably even more nowadays, but yeah. I got this like, five years about, ago. Yeah, probably, no more than that probably. Really? Probably about six or seven years oh ago. Oh my god. Okay, so some more random miscellaneous sort of things. We've got a hot shoe double r i don't even know what to call it <laughs> it basically creates two hot shoes on your camera yeah and we needed this because we use a road mic and we also want to try and use the, the ring flash the ring flash we have the road microphone it's and the road i think it's called video go it's oh. the one that doesn't need batteries or turn on you just plug it straight in and yeah go. that's the best way because like imagine it runs out i know through. and you would need that would be know. horrible okay this is a very random thing it's literally just a prism and i'll I'm not even going to try and show you what it does on here. I'll just insert a photo where I've used this in my photography. Mm -hmm. Basically creates like rainbows yeah. in photos and like weird, cool looking morphed kind of thing. Yeah, that's isn't? newer as well, isn't it? Newer, yeah. Next is something I bought for my environment photography unit. I thought, oh my god, I'm going to do so much of this. I'm going to need filters. Yeah. <laughs> they arrived. They're not very good. And I don't think I'll ever do environment photography again. <laughs> I did not like it very much, so we'll just show you what they look like anyway. Two pouches. A Velcro pouch. And... Ooh. Loads of little colours. Filters. So, I think the reason these don't work very well is because they're plastic. Yeah. So they make weird reflections in the lens. Mm -hmm. But, they're pretty cool, like, if you just want a wee bit of colour. Yeah. We'll find something to do with these. Cool and start or Yeah. Something. But um, why would you want to use these though? Like, what's the reason for it? Like, well, I, the reason I bought them is I bought them for the neutral density filters, um, because I wanted to do a long exposure of waves at the beach, mm -hmm. and because it was during the day, too much light would have got in, mm -hmm. even because right, I was yeah. doing such a long exposure, all the light was coming in. Yeah. So this blocks it just the right amount. That's cool. The way these attach to your camera is they they come with every like lens thread size. Um, and then this little thing clips on, you just slide the filter in the front. Yeah. But I wouldn't recommend these hands. <laughs> this thing here I bought for uh, my art school film, which was I've talked about before, but um, I needed to be able to quickly zoom in and out without, um, without actually using your hand because it, it like clicks so, so much. This basically just like wraps I around. I cannot remember what this is called. Is it like a focus zoom or something? Maybe. But basically that like goes around the lens. Yeah, as a circle. Yeah, so you like, can use it for zooming in or focusing. So you, you just can, like you can even buy two. Yeah. One for each thing. Yeah. So you just like basically it would be really easy, you just like yeah. touch on it and it zooms, zooms for you. Yeah. Okay, so this is another interesting thing that we have to show and it is the backdrops. Yeah. And I got these for Christmas one year. 
um, mainly because I really wanted a green screen. In like 2009-10 when YouTube was really big for like starting out, everyone used green screens. Yeah. And there was this one girl that I watched who had a green, like it was a, she was American and her basement in the house was all four walls are green and it was like a green like specifically room for and I, her channel. just for her channel and it was like the most amazing i don't even remember her name but she, it, that was the most amazing yeah. thing ever and it made me want one so bad so i've used it for a film and i'll link it above i've made so many films at uni but um i used it for that film but i've never used it for youtube so yeah. and also yeah. the black and the white me and Abby obviously good for photography yeah we yeah. do a lot of product photography for some uh some people so if you need to if you know us in real life and need something taken for products then yeah. Hit us up. Um, so, yeah, the, the need, the means. Yeah, and these also came with like a big stand. Yeah. For like draping them over. So the next thing, we're kind of moving on to cameras now, but not completely. Um, but because these are kind of like in betweeners, they're yeah. like Polaroid cameras. cameras. Um, but this is the Instax Mini 90, and this is my one. And obviously, we got these a couple years ago when they were like the trend. Mine's is the Instax Mini 8, just the yellow one. The typical yeah. one. Okay, we'll get on to proper cameras now and yeah. lenses. Okay, so cameras now and we'll start with the camera we actually film our videos on. Like yeah, proper, I'll get my phone and do a wee like mirror thing. Proper so standing videos like this. Canon 70D. Yes. Yeah. I don't know if it's very... This is rubbish. <laughs> oh, like, um, basically looks like this. Be honest. Yeah, it's basically the it 700. It has the flip out viewfinder like that, but it's also got one of the wee screens on the top, mm -hmm. and it's bigger and better quality, obviously. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So that's our main filming camera, and we also I will show you our vlogging one in yeah, a second. Yeah, that's the camera I also use for my photography. So mm -hmm. that's our best camera. Yeah. It's the most expensive camera we've got as well. Yeah. So that's like, I've got the main one out of the way. So that's my one. This Abby's is the showing Canon EOS 700D. And then this is my older one, and this was my me and Abby's like, first ever DSLR. First ever DSLR. We had. So this, seeing this now, it's not got a flip out viewfinder. I know. We had to used to we had to we used to have to connect this to a uh, um, television to so as a viewfinder so that we could see ourselves. I feel yeah. like it wasn't even that long ago. That I know, I know. And then I've got two yeah. in the same. But do you know what? I I was researching cameras last night because I really want a full frame DSLR. Yeah. And I realised that the um, Canon 5D Mark IV, like mm -hmm. all the 5Ds, don't have a flip out viewfinder. Really? Yeah, I don't think I could go back to not having a flip out. Like, I need it. Like, I yeah. I use it a lot. Yeah. Um, and like, if only... you're taking a picture from above, you need to turn yeah. it and look. So the only full frame DS Canon DSLR that's got a flip out viewfinder is the 6D, but that doesn't do 4K video shooting. Oh. So there's like, even if I had not money, the ideal. there's no option. I'm moving on to our vlogging camera and Abby's film camera. Film camera. This vlogging camera is the Lumix G7. Is that right? Yeah. Um, and this is really cool. It's lightweight. It's what did you say it's called? Abby's like it's that mirrorless mirrorless camera. It's not DSLR. And it's something like sm it's smaller. Yeah, it's micro three four. What's it? Micro four. Th Why can't I not think? Micro of four thirds. Micro. Th yeah, you know, like <laughs> the lens mount is tiny. Yeah. Um. I love this yeah, camera so much. It's really lightweight, but it it's four K. Yeah. So like, obviously it takes pictures it's as well, amazing. and it is like such a good camera. I like, would recommend it if you're a YouTuber. Don't bother getting a separate DSLR and a vlogging camera. And just get this. This is my film camera. Yeah, because I've started studying like darkroom photography. I really wanted to buy my own camera because you can rent them, but yeah, I wanted to buy my own. So I just went on eBay. Mm -hmm. Literally, I had no idea what I was buying. I just yeah. wanted one that was in good condition. Mm -hmm. And I got the Canon T70, which is like the first ever, or was the first ever self-winding film camera. Yeah. Um, and it, I really like it. Although I know, not, that's nice. I'm not, show fully, up close, like. not fully used to using it yet. Looks like this. It's quite long, like, yeah, that way. No screen. Obviously, <laughs> I've, every time I take a photo, I'm like, oh. Yeah. I can't see it. <laughs> okay, so now on to lenses. We have quite a few. Yeah. Um, this one here I'll start with. It is our fisheye lens and I'll quickly put this over and see if you can... Yeah, it's like <laughs> completely circular and uh, we've barely... I mean, we used to use this again was one of those in with the trends YouTube of trends in 2011. Um, yeah, it was a very big trend. But this lens doesn't... It, obviously, like I just showed you, it connects to another lens. Like you just screw it onto the end of a lens. I have the lens we're filming on, but we have another one of it, so I'll just show you what it looks like. 
it is the 18 to 55 millimeter Canon and this is a lens that basically mainly comes with cameras comes, yeah DSLRs so it's the most I feel like it's a basic yeah it's quite lens. a basic lens it's got it ranges from like wide angle to normal um we have the 50 millimeter and this one is one that I bought a few years ago for when I was I don't know why I bought it I thought was it not for that wedding oh yeah I, I heard I read that it was like one of the best lenses for wedding photography for a beginner um so it's 50 millimeter it doesn't zoom but it focuses in and out obviously <laughs> um but we've used this to film a few times but it's very close like you have to be really far yeah. away mm -hmm. so even though this is like Canon's cheapest lens literally ever most used lens for portraiture yeah it's really I good really, for that really recommend it the next lens is our zoom lens this is 75 to 300 millimeters it's quite a big it's huge quite like a big lens this lens it came with my camera yeah i think this um, is like the most the standard zoom lens yeah. like. and the most recent lens and i think the most expensive lens is the wide angle lens i bought again for environment photography which I'm not yeah. a fan of, so I've just bought a lens, but it is a cool lens, like for taking cool photos and yeah. videos. We've filmed with it a few times, like, yeah. I don't know, you probably won't have noticed because we had to zoom it in a wee bit, so yeah. basically it was just the wrong Yeah, um, It's the Canon 10 to 18 millimeter, and it's got that, what do you call it? Stabilisation? The like, super fast, silent autofocus, which oh, okay. is pretty good. And I really like it. I like how obviously wide it is. It's got yeah, a big massive opens, yeah. lens cap, which we've never had before. Mm -hmm. So I would recommend this lens if you like doing kind of cinematic. Yeah, I'm gonna video. use that for my film yeah. that I like my final year film. Yeah. Um, so it's really sharp, really good quality. I, know, I can't wait to try it out using that for I know, my film though. Cool. Okay, so that is all our vlogging, filming, like photographing Random, yes. equipment. <laughs> yeah. So please also again. Go check out my photography Instagram. I really mm -hmm. appreciate it. I really hope you enjoyed seeing this. And Twitter's, Instagram, Snapchat's in the description. New Friday. New video. New every, Friday. New video every Friday at 5 p.m. And we are literally so close to 3K subscribers. So thank yes. you all so much. And we cannot wait to hit it. I know. I can't wait. I'll be so happy. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> okay. What's wrong with me today? Okay. Peace to the stars and bye! bye.